All right, next up, tangent, tangent angles. All right, so this one has some tricks to it. We have the angle is equal to, we've seen this a little bit before, the far away arc minus the close arc over two. But in this case, we've got a tangent and a tangent coming together. So these two points A and B are both points of tangency. So it, it's a little different you'll see uh, than secant secant or even tangent secant because the whole circle is accounted for here. So we're gonna, there's going to be a, the use of 360 a lot here. But it remains the angle is equal to the far away arc minus the close arc over 2. Here we go. Number 1. So the angle is equal to the far away arc minus the close arc over 2. The angle is missing. Far away arc is 259. The close arc is missing too. So we have to kind of think about this for a second and say, all right, hold on. We've got that guy right there is totally unknown. Or is it? Well, let's think. The far away arc, the far away arc is, I'll put it in a darker blue, the far, the far away arc is 259, so that goes from here all the way around, it's the major arc. So the closer arc, the minor arc here, is quite simply going to be 360 minus 259, and that of course is 101. So the close arc in this case is 101. So you'll subtract those two together, and again, they add up to the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. 101 plus 259 is 360. And all we need to do is simplify this now. 259 minus 101 is uh, 158 over 2 is uh, 79, I think. Yeah, 79. We're going to use that trick a lot. We're going to use this guy right here. We're going 360 minus whatever is already there. Number two. Feel free to pause this one and give it a shot. We've got the angle equals the far away arc minus the close arc over two. Uh, in this case, the angle is 55. The far away arc is what we're trying to find. The close arc is also not there. Well, that's interesting. No idea what this guy is. So what we need to do is use the same rule, 360 minus x. So if we set this equal to x, this is going to be 360 minus x. But that's the close arc, so you have to set it equal, or you have to put it in parentheses here when you subtract it. So I don't really, don't, I really don't really know what either of those arcs are. All right, if I'm coloring them, I'm not even sure what this arc is in brown. All right, but what I do know is how they relate to each other, and that's really the key. So here we go. Let's multiply both sides by 2. We're going to distribute that negative. All right, that changes the positive 360 to a negative and a negative x to a positive x. Combine like terms, 2x minus 360. Add 360, we get 470. And divide by 2, 235. And right, you can check that if you'd like. Put x back in here, that's 235. And this is 360 minus 235, or 125. And that should work out. Number three, a little bit of algebra here. Let's go angle equals the far away arc minus the close arc over two. Six X is equal to the far away arc. I'm not really even sure. So we have to use the same idea, All right? The far away arc is 360 minus the other arc. So that's 240 minus 120 over 2. 
240 minus 120 is 120 itself, so 6x equals 60, x is 10. Last one. This one's a little bit more challenging. But even though it's more challenging, it doesn't stray from the formula. The formula stays the same. The angle equals the far away arc minus the close arc. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to figure it out. The close arc is arc Km over 2. So here we go. We need to figure out the expression that we can put on that green close arc. Well, we'll use the same idea. 360 minus whatever the other one is. All right, so we go 360 minus, and there's another set of parentheses inside here. So it's actually a double set of parentheses, which is pretty crazy. But it all revolves around the fact that we've got this arc, the expressions given to us, right? That is 32x plus 4. And the green one is down here. All right, together they add up to 360. And you can check that if you want. These add up to 360 if you add them together. All right, they sum to 360. That's how we figure that out. All right, so here we go. Let's multiply both sides by 2. We get 160. And then we have this whole craziness left. I'm going to show you how to manage this thing. It's not so bad. By the way, a lot of people some a lot of people will tend to use brackets instead of like a double set of parentheses. Just visually it makes it a little easier to see that the brackets go together and the parentheses go together. In any event, we always want to start from the inside out. So in this case, let's start with this set of distri this uh, distributive property right here. We want to take that minus sign and distribute it inside. So it's minus 32x minus 4 close bracket. Notice the parentheses are gone. All right, now we, w we have to do another set of another round of distributive property. So we go 160 equals 32x plus 4 minus 360 plus 32x plus 4. So it's really a double set of distributive in brown and in, and in blue. Now all we do is combine like terms. 32x and 32x is 64x. 4 plus 4 is 8. Minus 360 is negative 352. All right, let's add that to both sides. We add 352 to both sides. And we go, oh gosh, 512, I think. 512 equals 64 X and uh, this guy is going to be my goodness let's see uh, rather than get my calculator I'll just kind of divide this this whole guy together here so I'm thinking all right how many times does 64 go into 512 and that is going to be let's see let's check let's check 8 8 times 64 8 times 64 is let's see 480 that's actually perfect yeah that, that works so x is 8 cool and again that can check back in here if you if you wanted to uh, it's kind of a crazy endeavor but you know if you have time check it to make sure that it fits in this whole equation right here for x and right here for x if you put 8 in there it should work out there you go